Good morning, I'm Mike Ackerman. This is Sunny. Welcome back to the Good Morning News. Ooh, happy day. We've heard of man's best friend, but this story is about a dog's best friend. Seen on EliteReaders.com, Andy Davis was hiking on a deserted mountain trail in Phoenix when she saw a pit bull lying on the rocks. He seemed to have broken legs, and Andy wasn't sure if it was safe to approach the injured dog. But when he lifted his head as she reached for her water bottle, she knew what to do. She gave him a drink, and then she lifted the 47-pound dog into her arms. Then she began walking. Her arms aching, it took about an hour to carry him down the mountain where her husband and her daughter were waiting. I was really worried and concerned then. I was wondering if he was going to be all right. They rushed the dog to the Humane Society where they discovered that the dog's legs were not broken. It had actually been shot. Doctors found an open abdominal wound, bullet fragments near his spinal cord, and a bullet in the middle of his neck. However, they were able to save his life thanks to the selfless actions of Andy Davis. I was just thinking, what can we do to help him? How can we help him get a good home? How do we, how do we make sure this pit bull isn't one that is lost just because he was injured? The Davis family has since adopted the dog and named him Elijah. When my friends tell me that they're scared of pit bulls, I tell them that we used to be afraid of pit bulls too and we judged a book by its cover. And it's the humans that are training pit bulls to be bad. It's not the dog. They're really amazing dogs and they're even bred to be nanny dogs. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. If you have your own good news stories, send them into goodnewsforsunny at gmail.com. Thanks, we'll see you next Monday.